Hello everybody, uh, this is me Pizai and today I'm going to show you how exactly you can perform SOAP UI request and test with different type of assertion uh, and see the response uh, for the SOAP UI request. So what exactly you have to do is open the SOAP UI, SOAP UI then you need a whistle path for that one so for the whistle path what I am I'm trying to see is <clears throat> I have a whistle from the football football pool database as a access whistle so I'm gonna copy this one and I'm going to create a new project in SOAP UI just go to the file button and then create new SOAP project so project name will be anything which is suitable for you guys so I'm gonna put football uh, test cases and uh, it will be and, and just uh, we have to provide the whistle path whatever whistle path you are going to use in in the real project uh, uh, what will gonna happen is like you have a whistle whistle path so you have to give the whistle path over here with suitable username and password that one where you have to say it is let let me show you did you see this one in the button here you have to insert the username and password but in this case uh, we don't have username and password that's why it is not displaying over there but it will show you some option here in the property field username and password and password type so you have to make password type as text and give up the username and password from the soap env config file so in this case what exactly i'm going to see you can take test with all these operations uh, which is present here in the left side in football test cases we still so I am going to show you one operation with all player name. So go to the request and create the new test cases. So it will be the test site for all player name. And don't forget guys, give the proper player name so you can remember which uh, operation you have performed. So all player names with the test case for uh, all player names. Right? Cool. Then what we are what what we are gonna do is we are gonna click OK and we are gonna see the request what is passed over here. So go to the XML file and this is the format like in APIs. If there are a lot of APIs used in your project then you are not able to see the UI. So you are gonna see all the UI in XML format. So what I am gonna do is I'm then I'm just going to run this one XML and see the request sorry response whatever is came here. So here is a list of country with the different name in the request file. So I'm gonna choose different assertion for the test case. So there are uh, a lot of assertions over here, contents, not contents, xpath and xqueryness. So content, what content will do is like whatever in the response field you are getting, you can choose with like if it is present, in, present or not. So click on the content path and just click it OK and see is it USA is present in, the, in your response like uh, there will be data provided by different team in the real project scenario so you get the data and then you have to check so right now we are going to check for USA if it is present or not so here in the in the result field we see it content failed so just run it once and then see here yeah, guys it is loading here and it's content failed so USA it's, it is not present over there try to change the USA to different data like Brazil I guess uh, it will be there 
so let's see so assertion our assertion is succeed so let me go with different assertion not contents so not contents is exactly opposite of contents so it will show you what is not present in our response we already just we already checked with USA, so let's check with USA. So it it must be valid because USA in the response is not present, right? Okay, it's valid. So let's go with expat math. So, so expat math is like uh, uh, it is type of address of the requested tag is present or not. In our case, we have a player name result and player player's name so I'm gonna check with all players name result and all players name so go and click the declare button and then save it because I need to copy this one all the players name which is present so this is a simple method simple step I'm I'm just I'm just going to show you but uh, in the real project there might be Look, I'm going to test and this failed because result is not present, right? So select the current is showing. Okay, it's our test case is success, and the response matches the content which, which is which is in our response field. So this case is valid. Similarly, you can check with different field so let me go with assertion and then add another one for the expat query so expat query is exactly you need the query for that one and you need little bit of programming concept like c c plus plus java psp dot net and everything so let me show you expat paths you can uh, populate all the result and the names like all players name result with names so let me show you it will be more helpful for you then what i'm gonna do is i am writing one query with the result you have to give the result here and close the tag and then close the result tag again here with the so what I'm I'm gonna do is I'm going to use for loop for all the x variable in empty player's name here empty player's name is over here and there are a lot of player's name in this response right so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to display all the player's name in our response so I'm checking for that one with all the names let me show you guys and you can google it for the x query in a different type of x query which is uh, which you can take so for the simple you know for the simple simple step i'm gonna use this one so here you can see all the players name populated in our expected result so if you click test then it might be successful okay so our query is successful for all the players name and displaying all the data right so guys this is the simple way and simple simple format how to check all the soap cases with the different assertion but in real project you have to do a lot of things like all the request you have to check for all the request and the response and you have to do into in test case all the things thank you guys thank you for watching just give me a feedback in the future i'm gonna post a lot of videos on soap ui selenium java coding and a lot of stuff thank you thank you for watching i appreciate it. bye